Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Let me discuss about the project Distributed Compressed Sensing of the Grid Let me discuss about the abstract of the project Compressed Sensing is a signal processing technique for efficiently acquiring and reconstructing a signal by finding solution to underdetermined linear systems Compressed Sensing has demonstrated that data acquisition and compression can often be combined dramatically reducing the time and space needed to acquire many signals of interest despite the tremendous impact of compressed sensing on signal processing theory and practice its development thus far has focused on signals with sparse representation in infinite discrete dictionaries in this project the system addressed the problem of simultaneously recovering a joint frequency sparse signal ensemble sharing a common frequency sparse component with the frequencies continuously this common or innovation joint sparsity model is shown to significantly reduce the number of measurements in conventional distributed CS framework by utilizing common information shared in multiple signals. This system is mainly to develop the continuous counterpart of the joint sparsity model and it proposes the concordinated atomic norm for the description of joint frequency sparsity of which the minimization can be solved via STP. The system characterizes a dual certificate for the optimality of the proposed optimization problem. Let me discuss about the flow diagram for our process. Initially, the signal has been generated. The signal ensemble is denoted by the superscript means Hermitian transpose. In the JFS setting, we additionally assume that each signal is generated as a combination of two frequency sparse components common component which is present in all signals and an innovation component which is unique to each signal. The component ensemble is denoted by frequency sparse property components. The frequency sparse property of the components implies that these can be expressed via a autumn where the autumns are defined as the sets of frequencies are defined as and the frequencies are continuously valued between 0 and 1. Next in the concordinated atomic norm, here L0 norm type atomic norm, convex relaxation and L0 norm type CA normalization are performed. Here the concordant atomic norm are performed based on the convex relaxation and the Finally, the rank minimization problems are performed. To develop a norm description of the joint sparsity, we extend the atomic norm to the JFS setting and give the definition of CA norm. The norm type CA norm is defined based on the rank minimization problem, which can be shown to be an equivalent to the following rank minimization problem using a approach which are described in the theorem 1 of the base paper next in the semi-definite program characterization the system prove the equivalence between CA norm and SDP and thus propose the computationally tractable SDP solution to the CA norm animation problem finally the performance has been analyzed here the frequency localization and also success rate are estimated based on the semi-definite relaxation problem let me discuss about the running procedure for our process select the main dot m file in the current folder right click that file and run for executing this process and this is the single sided amplitude spectrum of Y of T. We obtain the spectrum graph for our input signal and this Y axis represents the amplitude of the signal and X axis represents the frequency of our input signal and this is the frequency localization representation from dual polynomial and here we plotted the graph for true frequencies and the regular waveform represents the dual polynomial presentation and this is the frequency localization from dual polynomial here the 
true frequencies are obtained up to this level and the red color waveform represents the dual polynomial localization frequency localization representation then this is also frequency localization from dual polynomial representation here the true frequencies obtained at maximum level and the static line represented in the is section and here we are using feasibility starting point either press 1 or 0 if you press 1 then the starting point will be considered and if no then the feasible starting point didn't use and press enter and here the process are performed and here we obtain the success rate graph versus number of measurements per signal in the x-axis represents the number of measurements per signal and the y-axis represents the success rate this graph presented for various scheme uh, here our proposed scheme is joint STP and here we perform 4 joint STP and 16 joint STP and 8 joint STP and we compare the existing method such as separate STP and also STP propose the CA norm minimization for recovering a JFS signal ensemble sharing a common frequency sparse component from the collection of their compressed measurements established tractable joint STP solution to the CA norm minimization thank you